Hi, I'm Dr. Subur. I'm a consultant medical oncologist and hematologist oncologist at Onco Cancer Centers Hyderabad. In this video, I will be giving an overview of targeted therapy. What exactly is targeted therapy? It is a form of cancer treatment that focuses on certain genetic alterations or proteins that are expressed by tumor cells but not by new normal cells. These genetic alterations which are called as mutations, they confer survival advantage to the tumor cells. Uh, meaning that cancer cells can have unregulated cell growth because of presence of these particular mutations or the proteins that are expressed by the cancer cells. Therefore, targeted therapy can act by either blocking these cell signals and causing cell death or they can block the blood supply of the tumor cells thereby ultimately leading to death of these tumor cells. What are the different types of targeted therapy? There are various types of targeted therapy one among them is monoclonal antibody now these monoclonal antibodies they are large molecules that focus on certain specific targets that are present on the outer surface of the cell now apart from blocking these particular targets monoclonal antibodies can also be used to deliver certain toxic chemicals or even radioisotopes to the tumor cells uh, thereby precisely causing death of tumor cells when monoclonal antibodies are combined by these toxic chemicals or radioisotopes, these are called as antibody drug conjugates. The other form of targeted therapy is a smaller size of molecules which are called as tyrosine kinase inhibitors, in short TKIs. Now these TKIs, because of their small size, they can easily pass within the cell and they cause certain genetic alterations within the cell, ultimately causing cell death. A prime example of uh, small molecule TKIs is called angiogenesis inhibitors. Now angiogenesis denotes uh, formation of new blood supply that is critical for growth of tumor cells. These angiogenesis inhibitors, they block the blood supply of tumor cells and thereby deprive the tumor cells of nutrition and ultimately cause death of these tumor cells. Now there are other types of targeted therapies as well. Even immunotherapy is also a form of targeted therapy, but I would uh, be explaining about it in a separate video. The other form of targeted therapy are certain drugs that can induce programmed cell death within the tumor cells. This programmed cell death is referred to as medically apoptosis or apoptosis. So we have certain drugs called apoptosis inducing targeted therapy. Now, how do these targeted therapy act on the cancer cells? As I mentioned before, these targeted therapy agents, they act on particular genetic mutations or they, buy, they block the certain proteins expressed by the tumor cells which are not seen in normal cells. Now, these tumor proteins or the genetic alterations, they are very critical for survival of tumor cells. They promote cell growth by giving certain cell signals. Therefore, this targeted therapy, they block these mutations or the proteins ultimately deprive the tumor of the cell, cell growth signals causing cell death. The other mechanism of action of targeted therapies is by blocking the tumor blood supply. When tumor blood supply is blocked, the tumors will not get nutrition and then it ultimately causes death of these tumor cells. How is targeted therapy given? Targeted therapy can be as simple as a tablet that can be taken orally or it can be as an injectable form that is given as an IV infusion. What are the side effects of targeted therapy? Like any other cancer treatment, targeted therapy can also have certain side effects. But in comparison to conventional chemotherapy, the side effects are different and the severity can be less compared to conventional chemotherapy. Now, the side effects of targeted therapy depends on what drug we are using and what is the target of that particular drug. I will give you an example. Now, there are certain targeted therapies used in lung cancer that focus on genetic alterations called EGFR mutations. When we use EGFR mutation targeting drugs in lung cancer patients, they can cause skin problems or hair, nail and eye problems as well. Targeted therapies that are focusing on blood supply of uh, tumor cells, which are called angiogenesis inhibitors, these have different spectra of adverse effects. Most commonly, they can cause a rise in blood pressure, which is called hypertension. They can also cause stroke 
or myocardial infarction which is commonly referred to as heart attack it can also cause some wound healing issues as well is targeted therapy better than chemotherapy so as i have mentioned targeted therapy have a very precise action on tumor cells they do not normally act on uh, cells that do not carry these genetic alterations therefore they are more precise in their action as compared to chemotherapy therefore side effects are lesser and they are better tolerated as compared to chemotherapy are all cancer patients eligible for targeted therapy well uh, as i mentioned earlier targeted therapy is used only when the tumor cells can harbor these genetic mutations or the tumor cells are expressing these proteins uh, which are not seen in normal cells therefore all cancer patients may not have benefit with targeted therapies we need to have these particular mutations in the tumor cells for us to use targeted therapy so that is the reason targeted therapy is not mentioned for all, all patients now another reason for targeted therapy not working in all cancer patients is that there are certain genetic mutations in the tumor cells that even though they may seem susceptible to these targeted therapy but they may be intrinsically resistant to these drugs thereby the targeted therapy may not act at all for this particular genetic alterations or the proteins that are expressed by the tumor cells which is called as primary resistance what is the scope of targeted therapy in our country well we have come a long way in cancer treatment in advances as well so targeted therapy for certain cancers especially cml which is chronic myeloid leukemia it is a form of blood cancer the targeted therapy for this particular blood cancer is easily available in india and it has dramatically improved survival of patients that are diagnosed with cml example of these drugs are imatinib dasatinib nilotinib and bosutinib uh, apart from this targeted therapies that are used in lung cancer are also easily available in our country however there are still a few targeted therapies that are out of reach of general population because of because of logistic issues and financial reasons thereby we are still in need of generic drugs for these particular ta targeted therapies or government funding for improving accessibility of these targeted therapies for general population so the future holds good there is still scope for research and development of newer targeted therapies and then bringing down the cost of these targeted therapies is also very important to improve accessibility to these drugs that's it for today's video thank you and stay tuned for more updates on cancer